and welcome to seispinguinos.com Instrumentopedia, a place where we look at different instruments from around the world. And what I have here is a mandola. Now, a mandola is a big mandolin. This is a mandolin, this is a mandola, this is bigger. Okay, now the mandola is tuned um, C, G, D, A, like a viola. So in fact, the mandola to the mandolin is what a viola is to a violin. Makes sense. Now the name mandola, mm, where does it come from? No one really knows. Perhaps it comes from the old, it, it's a, a variation of the word pandura, which was the name given to the ancient Greek string instrument, or it could come from mandora, which was a 16th century lute, or perhaps it actually derives from the Italian word mandorla, which means almond, because it's shaped like an almond. Who knows? And to make things more confusing, um, the word mandola has been used to describe different instruments in different regions and at different times. For example, the 18th century painter and musician um, Filippo della Casa um, has a piece of music written for mandola. But if you look at this music, it's obviously written for six string instruments tuned in fourths, not this. Um, other texts from that period use the word mandola to refer to the baritone tenor lute, um, also known as the mandora. Um, and in fact, the oldest, um, the earliest labelled mandolin type instrument um, is actually a mandola, dated in 1744. Now, there is some debate as to whether this label is original, okay? Um, but that might suggest the mandola came before the mandolin, which, as the name suggests, that would make sense. You have a mandola and then you make a little one and it's the mandolin. Um, but I guess it was really the 1890s when Emberger um, had his alto mandolin tuned like a mandola and he called it the mandoliola, the mandoliola. But of course that's a very complicated word. And in the 1890s, in the US, they were using the term mandola to refer to this instrument. And I guess in the last hundred years, this is now the mandola. All very confusing. This particular instrument, um, it has no label on it, but I'm guessing it's French by the design. It has little holes around the side here. And I'm guessing it's from the 1880s, 1890s. What is interesting about this instrument, it came with this pick. And the pick says on it, Ferdinando de Cristofaro, Paris, l'incassable, indestructible. And from what I've researched on the internet, this seems to be the oldest celluloid pick in existence. And there might only be another two in the whole world. Who knows? If that's true or not, can't believe everything on the internet. But anyway, by the name, this pick was probably given out together with Ferdinando Cristofaro's Mandolin Method, a book that he published in 1884 that was then translated into five languages. Um, and in fact, in his book, a picture of this exact pick appears. So, um, I thought while well, having this pick and this mandola, I would choose a tune to play from Cristofaro's method. And so I found a tune um, that was published in the US edition of his book. It's called Hermione Masurka, Recreation 21, actually composed by J.M. Macy. Okay, and this tune was published in 1894.